So for today's red lip, I thought I would do something um, just a little bit grungy. I've kind of got a grungier eye makeup on, not that you can see it because of the extraordinary length that my bangs have gotten off to. But um, I wanted to do something that was not a full on red lip because obviously um, not necessarily daytime appropriate, not that I really care so much about that. But um, just wanted it, something that went along with the a little bit more full on eye makeup today. Nothing too glossy or glitzy, definitely a little bit more matte, a little more natural, and maybe even a little bit just disheveled. Um, so I'm going to be using three products today, so let's get started. The first product I want to use is by MAC, and it is Nubile Paint Pot. This was a limited edition color, so if you're looking for something, um, you might try something maybe like Bare Study or any, or even just a concealer. I like this because it has a little bit of a, a grayish rosy tint to it, so I thought it would be perfect for kind of the grungy look that we're going for. And I'm just going to dab this over my lip. They're just kind of erasing the natural lip line. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna take two other MAC lip products. Um, the first one is Brick Lip Pencil. You can use any lip pencil, um, but I'm just gonna put a big chunk of that on the back of my hand. And then this is was a limited edition color by MAC. I think it came out last um, Black Friday, I think is what it is, because it's called Gray Friday, and I think that's when it came out. Um, and if you're not sure how to use this, this is one of the coolest ways I've found to use it. And basically, I'm just going to take that and run it over the top of the brick liner on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to take my finger here, and I don't know if you can see this, I don't even know if I can do it on camera, but <laughs> just going to kind of blend that together until I get this nice kind of muddy gray maybe add just kind of mix it until you get the color that you want so once you've kind of got this grungy looking red um, I'm first going to take my lip pencil and just kind of run it through the center of my lip and then once I kind of have that I'll take my clean finger just blend that out until it forms kind of a stain. I'm gonna add a little more here. The goal isn't look, to look completely dead, it's just to do something a little, a little different from the classic red. Okay, once you've kind of got a stain on your lips, I'm gonna take the Gray Friday and the brick liner that I mixed. Just blend it onto my finger and then start applying it. Of course, starting at the center where we've started before. And working it across the lips. And the great thing about this is it's going to create kind of a three dimensional effect, but it's also going to basically sink into your lips so that you're not going to need to reapply. And this is pretty much my grungy, sort of easygoing, laid back, casual. If you're looking for kind of a 90s look for summer and into fall, I think this would be a fun little option. Hey everybody, welcome to day two of me wearing a red lip. Hope you forgive my background, I just got a new couch and everything is in complete disarray and it's covered and I'm trying to figure out how to keep the cats off. So there's that, just ignore the things that are happening behind me today and let's get started. So today's look is more of a bright poppy red lip and I'm going to be using another MAC lip liner, this one is in red. For the actual lipstick there's a couple of options. The first option that you have for this is this gorgeous bright red color. I think I've talked about this before. It was by Revlon, it was limited edition. Um, it was, it's fire and ice, and it's in this throwback packaging. The other option that you have for this sort of bright, vibrant, poppy red lip is the Velveteens by Lime Crime. This one is in Suede Berry. I love this color for kind of a really um, true, corally red lip. So the first thing I'll do is take my lip liner and I want to really give myself a nice 
clean edge on this look. And you can come back and perfect after you're done, so don't worry too much about it. Okay, now I've got the outline done. I'm just gonna kind of fill in, especially focusing on the corners of my mouth. And for looks where I want a more precise lip, I don't generally wear any sort of lip balm or lip gloss before I start this process. You can see I'm just leaving that little center bit. Um, I don't know, I just want a little dimension to the lip, so I'll leave that with no lip liner on it. And then next, I'm gonna use the Lime Crime um, since it's more readily available to you, but I just thought the Revlon is such a good vintage color. And I'm gonna apply this to the lips. You have to be really careful with this because it's a little bit liquidy, so I just kind of put it on the bottom lip and then work it around with a lip brush. You can see it's a nice corally red. Then I'm gonna take a lip brush. And just work this around. And this formula, since it's a liquid, dries pretty quickly. So you tend to have to work, I usually do one lip at a time when I'm working with this, um, just to make sure I get it all over. Um, and using a lip brush just to make sure that I keep that clean line. And I usually try and keep my lipstick on the inside of the lip liner, um, just because I tend to get a lot of feathering, especially when you're using a liquid lipstick that's going to stain. So I try and keep it inside, and that's why I use a lip liner beforehand. Um, also, if I were using a lipstick in this color, I would blot it um, and then reapply it. But again, because this is a liquid lipstick, it doesn't need that sort of application. Um, I wouldn't recommend this if you have super dry lips. I have pretty normal lips, especially in the summertime, so this I can kind of get away with a matte lip on its own. If you have drier lips and you want to use something like this, I would recommend um, either putting just a little thin layer of balm over the top of it, um, or you could even just put a tiny little bit of gloss right here in the center. I prefer a matte lip when I'm doing something this bright. I don't really like a super glossy lip with this look. This is my bright poppy red lip for day two. Today's red lip is going to be a little bit different, a little more dramatic, and um, I wanted to do just a tiny bit of a throwback to a Jean Harlow sort of 1930s type makeup. Obviously, I look nothing like Jean Harlow, and I'm never going to be the one that does like vintage reproduction makeup because I'm just not that great at that sort of thing. The products I'm going to be using today are NYX Lip Pencil in Auburn. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever. This is the um, Rouge Artist Intense, the Moulin Rouge color. It's kind of this vampy red sort of color. And lastly, I'm gonna be using this kind of old lip glass, but it's in the right color. You can use any sort of cranberry red color. This is in Ready to Roam. Okay, taking the red pencil in Auburn, I'm gonna start drawing out the lip shape that I want. I want to focus on accentuating my cupid's bow here and also just, I have a pretty full bottom lip as well, but just filling that out a little bit more. So just creating that little M shape. A lot of times 30s lips were overdrawn a little bit, but I don't really want to do that. My lips are big enough and they look a little bit funny when I try and overdraw them. Then I'm going to draw just slightly underneath my bottom lip line here. I want to keep a heart shape, so instead of dropping this down where kind of my natural line goes, I'm bringing it up a little bit higher. So something 
like this, and then I'm gonna fill in the corners and the top. So once I've got my shape sort of filled in, I'm going to take a cotton bud and just kind of blend that in over my lip. Now using the same Q-tip, I'm going to take my lipstick, work some of that onto there, and then just start applying it to mainly the center of the lips is where I want to focus because this is a little bit brighter than the lip liner I'm using, and I want to kind of give that um, 3D sort of effect to the lips and do the same thing on the top lip. And then if you have any little um, places where you've gone out of line around the edges, that's why I like to have a cotton bud instead of a lip liner sometimes because you can come back on the other side and just clean up a little bit. To finish off the lip, I'm going to take some of that lip gloss and I'm just going to pop it right in the center of the lip for a little extra shine. And you don't want too much. Again, it's kind of that um, femme fatale noir sort of look that we're going for. So you don't want to make it too glitzy and glamorous and old Hollywood. You want to keep that um, kind of dark mysteriousness about it. So I'm just popping that in right in the center. And there you have sort of a 1930s inspired red lip. Okay, so for today's lip, I wanted to do something really glossy and shiny and kind of more of the um, lighter, everyday, more feminine side of the red lip. So let's get started. The products I'm going to be using today are Revlon Lip Butter in Candy Apple and then this L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Gloss and it's in the color Red Ravishing. So today's look is pretty simple. I'm just gonna take my lip balm and put it directly on from the tube. Then I'm gonna work that in with my finger. I just wanna get enough of this on that I get the good color pigment that the lip butter has in it. Clean up around the edges a bit. Then I'm gonna take my gloss and apply it. There you go, a pretty simple everyday glossy red lip. Hope you liked it. See you tomorrow. For day five of the five days of red lips, I wanted to do something a little different and use a lipstick that I have not ever tried before. I just went and picked this up and it is the Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick. And this one is in the color Ravishing Rouge. Um, I have one of these in the color Fuchsia and I really like it. And they smell amazingly. If you haven't smelled them before, they smell just super sweet and fruity. And this one looks like this, if you can see it. Um, and I think I'm gonna be using that with my MAC Cherry lip liner. So let's get started. Okay, and I don't wanna fill that in too much because I want to see actually what the color looks like on my lips. So let's give it a try straight from the tube. I find that these lipsticks, they're matte, but they're also kind of moisturizing and they last forever. I swatched one of these on my hand and this watch lasted for two days through showers and everything. Mm, that's really, really, really pretty. It's a very bright, vibrant, um, red. I really like this one a lot. I think that it would flatter both fair, really flatter um, fair skin tones. Yeah, definitely this is a total win. I'm interested to see how it wears. So I hope that you have enjoyed the five days, five ways series. 
I'm happy to do more of these if there's something that you like. You seem to really enjoy the last one, so I thought I would do another. And if you have ideas for something else that you would like to see, leave that down in the comments below. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's down below. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those things. I am there at How To Be Fancy absolutely everywhere. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.